and I'm a dairy farmer with no orcharding experience. We looked at cutting back some of our cows to plant some kiwi fruit and hopefully improve our financial position in the future. So one day we could step out of the cow shed and make our income from orcharding. We've got 4.4 canopy hectares which was originally planted in green. I saw the G3 and was pretty taken with it. The amount of fruit it could carry and the dollar return compared to green kiwi fruit. In 2010, we grafted over 0.7 of a hectare. We didn't get a very good strike rate with our grafts. A third of them didn't take. Um, but in the end, we've been able to lay down a really strong leader right across a leader wire through the use of double planting and also being able to grow really strong long canes with a supervine system, we've been able to maximise the whole length of the cane where we needed to fill in a gap. So these canes have been able to maintain their thickness and when we've laid them down, we're cutting canes off as, as thick as your fingers. And when we come down to lay the, down the G3 the first year, the boys, they were really impressed in how they were able to bend the canes around and manipulate the canes to fill our canopy in. When they had them all laid down, the rows looked pretty impressive. I was really impressed. And those canes have been able to carry fruit all the way through to the end of the canes. And we've ended up with 85 to 90% canopy in our first year. And then the second year, 2011, we grafted over another half a hectare. And our grafting would have been 90 to 95% success rate. The canopy we've got growing up here now, I'm expecting a lot better coverage this year. The Supervine system now, we have really locked that into our orchard as part of our investment in our orchard. It's now going to be part of our ongoing development of our orchard. As we, be, as we um, apply for more licences, we will be putting the Supervine system in. For me, it's a winner and it's, it's the way forward. To see those canes racing up those strings is pretty rewarding and how uniform they grow. It's, quite staggering and getting an awesome canopy coverage, beautiful looking fruit. From what I've seen here, this is pretty, pretty exciting. Here, the ends of the canes have actually dropped off the wire, but we've been able to bend the canes right around to help fill the canopy. This cane here, I've just counted the fruit up on it, and there's 150 fruit on this cane. And today is the 31st of March, 2012. The fruit is averaging 110 grams, and the dry matter is, um, 17%. I've had a lot of visitors come through, people that are looking at um, going to the new varieties and uh, a lot of people have been blown away by what we've been able to achieve here. Um, we can show them where we were from grafting um, and now we're up to um, 20 odd months later we've got this result with um, a large crop replacement cane growing it just blows people away. And a lot of it comes down to the way we can grow our canes with the Supervine system. And the Supervine system really has got me to where I am today. The way the orchard's looking, the crop we're carrying, and our strong canopy. I'm certain it's Supervine that's been the main contributor to that.